Hello, we're back in Pleasant View. Last time we met the Miguel family, and today we will also meet the Miguel family. But uh, Sophie's father this time, Amin Miguel. He lives over here with his family, just uh, down the road from Sophie's condo. And he's also neighbors with Andrea Cormier. So we will join the household and meet the Sims. So this is the Miguel condo. And this is one of the base game condos that I have renovated as well. So at front we have a little garden and it's a little bit overgrown right now. <laughs> and at the back we also have a back garden with a hot tub and a pond. And up here we have a rooftop balcony where the family can relax and grill a little bit. But if we go down to the ground floor, we have the entrance right here. And the family's living room. We also have a small downstairs bathroom right here. And this leads into the combined kitchen and dining room. And that leads out to the, the patio as well. We have a landing right here and a very crammed in office on the side here. Not really an office, it's more an office space, I guess. <laughs> We have um, Amin and Jessica's bedroom. And this is uh, Amin's drum set. <laughs> we have the bedroom of their son, Kian Miguel. Oh, I need to move this up, it seems. <laughs> We have a, another small bathroom and then we have a very recent addition to this house. This used to be a balcony, but this is now the bedroom of uh, Valerie Abadi, who just recently moved in in this family. There it is. That's the whole house. So we will move on to the character presentations. First of all, we have Amin Miguel, who is a popularity sim. And he is a Leo and extremely outgoing, but otherwise a bit grouchy, serious, lazy and sloppy, but not very much so. Uh, he is fit as well. And his secondary aspiration is knowledge. And his lifetime wish is to have 20 simultaneous best friends. So he's a very friendly guy. <laughs> his hobby is, of course, um, music and dance. So he can be seen entertaining at weddings <laughs> every now and then. Um, and as like you can see, he um, likes playing the drums, but he also plays the guitar. He has one downstairs in the living room. Uh, if we look at this family tree, we have um, Sophie Miguel, of course, his daughter, uh, Kian, and then also Jessica Miguel, who has uh, Valerie Abadi. So Amin grew up in SimCity and he was very much a um, sociable and um, big city person. <laughs> he really enjoyed it there. Um, he enjoyed having everything at a walking distance and uh, having such an easy time to go out to bars and meet new people. So during university, he really thrived over there. And that was the time that he met Sophie's mother. And they hit it up really well and um, started to go out on dates and uh, hang out a lot. And they started to um, become very serious. And that was the time when Sophie was conceived accidentally. And um, 
unfortunately, Sophie's mother uh, wasn't ready for a child yet. And she didn't really know if she wanted to have kids at all. So she was uh, having the mind to have an abortion. But Amin could not stomach the thought of that. Um, Amin is a very family-oriented man, really. Uh, he has always dreamed of having children. And uh, he's a very naturally paternal person. So the thought of uh, having a baby on the way who he would never meet and who he would never raise was devastating to him. So he spent a lot of time and effort to convince Sophie's mother to not have the ab abortion and to give birth to Sophie anyway, and that he would take on the responsibility of raising her. So they agreed on that. Uh, some part of Sophie's mother was a bit relieved uh, as well that she wouldn't have to go through with the abortion. So uh, she actually gave birth to Sophie, but once she had given birth, uh, she really didn't want to have anything to do with Sophie. So she just left her uh, completely in Amin's hands. And um, Amin and um, she had a very rocky um, breakup after that because their life goals really didn't align. And that was around the time that Amin moved away from SimCity and settled down in Pleasant View instead. He had met quite a few friends who moved here and he decided that it seemed like a good place to raise his daughter. So he moved here and he got employed in the culinary career. He currently works as the prep cook at the high school. But before that, he, he did a few random jobs here and there. <laughs> so moving to Pleasant View, he started out uh, dating Nina Caliente. Now, Nina is, of course, a Roman sim, and she wasn't that into Amin. Of course, not as much as she's into Don, uh, but the thing was that Amin fell in love with her very quickly. But Nina just sort of wanted to spend time and have fun with him. And um, he was more or less on her beck and call. But whenever he tried to reach out to her and spend time, she never had time for him and everything was always on her terms. So at the end, um, Amin couldn't take that. He wanted something more serious. He wanted a life partner and someone that he could devote his love and affection to. He is someone who, when he finds someone that he likes, he really wants to pay all his attention to that person and show them that he loves them. So things didn't work out with Nina, of course. And uh, Amin was single for quite a while before he met Jessica. And uh, they hit it off really well. And eventually got married, of course, and had their son together. So Amin ended up settling down with Jessica and uh, got the life that he was uh, wanting. Then we have Jessica Miguel, previously Jessica Ebadi, who is Amin's wife. And she is one of the base game burglars that can come and break into your house. <laughs> So she is a romance sim, and her hobby is film and literature, and she is a Libra. So she is very sloppy, very outgoing, <laughs> very lazy, and also very nice, actually. And she's also pretty playful. She has just moved down from being fit. Um, I think that she might have overeaten because she's a bit lazy. <laughs> Her secondary aspiration is fortune, and her lifetime wish is to earn 100,000 simoleons. So Jessica is still employed in the criminal career, but as you can see, she wants to quit her job actually, which being in that career is not an easy thing. So that is something that we might have to work on if that is going to happen for her. 
So we will have to see. But yeah, she is married to Amin, of course, and she has Kian and also Valerie. So Jessica has been in the criminal career since she was a teenager, really. She got involved in that life very early on, and she has lived all over the place, really. She has moved from place to place and has just taken each day um, as it comes and hasn't planned ahead very much in her life. She is a very thrill-seeking person, and she has really thrived in the criminal career before. She um, doesn't have that big of a conscience, <laughs> and... Um, she really enjoys the challenge and the the danger um, of not knowing if uh, she's going to get caught or not, and uh, having that like at the back of her mind while she works. So she has done all kinds of jobs, and the base of operations for the group that she has been involved with was in downtown. So. She really was dependent on them for a long time. And as she rose in the ranks in downtown um, and um, moved around to different cities, she took on more and more dangerous jobs. At the end, she was uh, smuggling a fake art and selling that. <laughs> so she really was uh, deep involved deeply involved in the scam operations of that career so um, the downtown mafia <laughs> was um, used her services for a while but as she grew more and more bold and took on more and more difficult um, tasks Jessica eventually made mistakes <laughs> and the police um, started to circle around her <laughs> like sharks and um, in the end she needed to disappear and um, Pleasant View is a very good place to go if you want to disappear because it's a very small and tightly knit community and it's uh, not very easy to get here. You really have to either go by car or by bus because it's a long way to the next city. So Jessica moved here in order to get away from uh, the limelight and took on smaller jobs. And uh, she wasn't very happy with that, but she understood why she had to do it, of course. And her task moving here wasn't only to disappear, it was also to keep an eye on the local Pleasant View Mafia. <laughs> or the crime group at least, I'm not sure if it's actually a Mafia here. Um, but um, there is of course a group of people here who are criminals and who work very discreetly. And the downtown Mafia has always had their eyes on them. And um, just so that they don't grow bigger and become competition. So one of Jessica's tasks moving to Pleasant View was also to keep an eye on them. And uh, I will let you know later who they are, of course. But uh, I think that you might be able to guess. <laughs> uh, so Jessica is actually not involved with those people very much, even though she has introduced herself. <laughs> and they know that she is keeping an eye on them. Um, but right now she is just a con artist and um, goes away to work and uh, really pretends that she has a normal job. Amin, of course, doesn't know a thing about her criminal past or her current employment. He just thinks that she works at an office. <laughs> and um, seeing as Jessica is very into writing... She has actually written some novels, and they are <laughs> crime novels. So we have All That Glitters, Shade and Shelter, Crashes, and Moonlight Minutes so far. So Amin has really just seen her 
sit down and write and work and he doesn't suspect a thing. He just thinks that she's a very creative person who works with similar things as well. So, so um, Jessica has really succeeded not only at um, disappearing to Pleasant View from the police, she has also managed to con her own husband. So that's quite well done, I think. <laughs> so Jessica is a romance sim and she has really thrived on meeting new men as she has moved from place to place and uh, using them and then discarding them, of course. But part of um, the whole disappearing act in Pleasant View was that she needed to give off a front of normalcy. So she met Amin and didn't really fall in love with him at once because that's just not the person that she is. But she saw the advantages of um, encouraging his uh, involvement with her and eventually he proposed to her and she ended up saying yes. Now, getting uh, engaged and married to Amin is not a positive memories for her because it was a necessary evil for her, really. It wasn't the life that she had dreamed of. But down the line, as they started to live together and created their family and eventually had their son, Jessica did end up falling in love with Amin. And um, right now he is uh, the most important person in her life. And uh, she is extremely afraid that he will learn about her past and her current work. And I think that part of that is why she wants to quit her job and uh, instead devote herself to her writing. Because if she can quit her job and not be part of the downtown mafia anymore, she would not have to fear Amin finding out and her son finding out. So um, we will have to see if that works out for her. Um, or if um, she will get in trouble. Next, we have Valerie Abadi, the most recent addition to this family. She is actually one of the Blue Water Village townies that uh, is added when you add a shopping district to your neighborhood. And every time she is born, she is generated with a random name. And the game decided to name her Abadi. And if you've seen my videos, you probably know quite a bit about me already. And you will know that I can't let things like that slide. <laughs> so I started to see her um, everywhere in Pleasant View. She used to come home with uh, Pleasant View children after school. And... Um, I just started to thinking about what her story was and I couldn't let her go. So, of course, she became uh, Jessica's daughter. So she is a family sim and she is a um, Aquarius. So very playful and nice, but more to the sloppy, shy and lazy side. So she's not at all as outgoing as her mother, but she's pretty lazy like her. She is uh, a little more towards the overweight side of things. And her hobby is nature, as you might have guessed from her room. She currently has a lifetime wish to reach Golden University, but I'm sure that that will change as she grows older. And she currently wants to have her very first kiss. She doesn't have a romantic interest, though. She is the most attracted to Nassim Cormier, but he is not single. And then she is also attracted to Jason Fancy, of course, but he is a romance sim, so might not be the best choice for her, but of course Valerie doesn't know that. So we will have to see if that is the path that she takes. So Valerie uh, didn't grow up with her mother. Jessica had her when she was still in un university. And... She did not have the finances or the time or the situation to raise her. And um, Jessica was already involved in some very grand crime schemes even back then. So involving a 
young child in a life like that, uh, Jessica realized that it wasn't practical or good for the kid. Um, so she ended up uh, putting up value for adoption or what to call it. She was um, sent into the foster care system, really, and um, has moved from foster household to foster household. <laughs> she has had a lot of foster parents and for a variety of different reasons she hasn't stuck with any particular family. They either changed their mind and didn't want to have a foster kid or she ended up running away because they weren't very good to her and uh, things like that. Um, so at the end, she hasn't had a very good upbringing. Even though she wasn't involved in Jessica's life of crime, she didn't end up having a lo loving and doting family of her own um, to rely on. So she has had to grow very self-sufficient. And um, it wasn't until Jessica moved into Pleasant View, and um, that was actually the same place that Valerie was located at the time and she had just recently uh, left her most recent foster parents. So the social workers uh, realized that Jessica had moved in and that she had uh, married to Amin Miguel and that she had a pretty steady life right now. So they ended up reaching out to Jessica and um, got her in contact with her daughter that she hadn't seen or heard of ever since she was a newborn baby. And Jessica's first thought was, of course, to not take her on and involve her in her life. But Amin ended up finding out about her. And as soon as he found out about Valerie, Jessica really couldn't find an argument to not take on Valerie. So Jessica has really told Amin and Valerie a con story <laughs> about why things ended up as they did. And uh, Amin thinks that things were pretty similar to his own situation with Sophie, even though uh, the ch uh, difference being, of course, that Valerie didn't have a father that wanted to take her on. So... Um, to Amin, uh, Valerie's addition to the family has been very emotional because he sort of looks at Valerie as the way that Sophie might have turned out if he hadn't raised her. And uh, her story really is uh, heartbreaking to him, uh, learning about the failure of the social care system for her. And um, to him... Um, Valerie has become a very important addition to the family and he has put down a lot of effort already to get to know her and make sure that she feels included in the family. But Jessica is still a bit cautious around her. She is very nice to her, of course, because otherwise things might look strange. But she's also very nervous that... Um, Valerie showing up like this and finding her is going to result in other people finding her as well. So, yeah, that's um, Valerie's relationship with her mother. And, um, yeah, Valerie is just a very nice person the, deep down. She, she hasn't grown bitter or anything um, from, from her childhood. She just really wants to have people around her that love her and uh, she wants to have stability more than anything else and um, getting reunited with her mother and meeting her stepfather and um, stepbrother is like a dream coming true for her and she really really likes to be here and even though she of course is fearing that she will be given up again and this time by her real mother but so far she is very happy here and feels like she has been properly invited into the family lastly we have little Kian Miguel and he's just growing up right now 
but he is a fitness sim and he is a uh, Gemini. So he's extremely outgoing and active, uh, but pretty serious sloppy and he has been extremely grouchy. He was actually born with only one point, <laughs> but as you can see, he has received one additional one. And that is because both, well, mainly Amin has been trying to teach him to be nice to people. <laughs> So that is an ongoing process because Kian is very chaotic and um, really likes to have his own way and tends to be pretty rude <laughs> to other children his age. And um, his parents are trying to teach him that being nice gets him a lot further in life. But uh, yeah, Kian has a very short temper. <laughs> so we will see how um, successful they end up being. He is currently best friends with Nico Brunig, and he's also uh, best friends forever with Halle Stratton. And also Will Burb, actually, and he's pretty close with Jason Fancy. So even though he is pretty uh, grouchy, she, he um, has ended up making friends. So, uh, so far, so well, but we will have to see how things develop. All right, so all introductions are done and we can begin the day. So Kian, of course, is going to school and Valerie is too. Amin has the day off today and uh, Jessica has work as well. So um, I think that I'm going to have Amin make some breakfast for the family. Let's make some scrambled eggs. And... Um, yeah, I think that uh, since Sophie is going to get married tomorrow, Amin would very much like to uh, invite her and um, her fiancé over for dinner. So I think that that is uh, something that he plans on doing this afternoon. And uh, seeing as he's working as a chef, uh, he wants to um, invite them for dinner. That's his, his favorite thing to share his cooking with other people and especially his daughter of course so Amin is very excited to finally get to know Lauren a bit better he is a bit curious about her because he, she is actually a lot closer to his age than Sophie's age so he's um, of course happy that Sophie has finally found someone that she loves and wants to settle down with that is what he has been uh, wanting for her, her whole life. But uh, the person that she has chosen is very surprising to him. Um, not that she, her occupation and her ambitions and things like that, but uh, more her age, really. So he wants to learn what that's all about. So we will have to see if they get along this afternoon. But the family can uh, come down to eat. <laughs> and you can see that uh, this family is not a very neat one. They just stuff their faces <laughs> with food. And uh, Valerie is, of course, uh, a big contrast to that. She is carefully taking one bite at a time while the others uh, just uh, stuff their face. <laughs> So it looks like Jessica has decided to uh, talk a bit about uh, the birds and bees this morning. And uh, I guess that Amin and Jessica are very open people in that regard. They don't uh, beat around the bush. <laughs> but they want to make sure that their kids um, know about uh, romance and um, proper dating and uh, being respectful to people and being nice and um, being careful when you <laughs> engage in uh, romantic situations with people. So, And Jessica seems to have moved on to talking a bit about her creative work. And Valerie is of course very interested to know what Jessica is uh, working with. Uh, but uh, Jessica 
leaves the table very quickly and doesn't uh, tell her too much. <laughs> Just leaves for work. So Kian has finished. He is full and since she, he is very active, he will stop eating. But Valerie doesn't have time to finish her breakfast. She needs to catch the school bus as well. Looks like Amin has decided to play some guitar this morning. And it is cutting into the wall apparently, so I want to change that. But I think that it is also good if he can clean up a little bit after breakfast. While I move the guitar a bit. That should be enough, I think. Okay, so it's still pretty hot out, even though it has moved on to autumn. Trying to see if I have any vents in this household. Um, but it doesn't look like I have put them up in here. So I'm going to add that so that uh, Amin can cool down a little bit. There we go. Now they have uh, some vents. I'm using a uh, temperature mod that um, makes, uh, makes the temperature more extreme, I guess, uh, which is why I have vents and radiators in all my households, because they need them, <laughs> which I really like. So Amin is going to cool off a little bit. So he's going to stand there and enjoy the, the cool air for a little bit. <laughs> Looks like it helped very quickly, so that's nice. Um, I think he's going to get dressed. Well, actually, while he's downstairs, I want him to check the uh, food supplies, just to see if he needs to go and buy some uh, more food so that they don't run out, <laughs> since they're going to have a um, nice dinner this afternoon. Okay, so it's... Pretty low actually, so he might as well just go and buy some uh, more food. Seems like a good thing for him. So I think actually that he is going to go to the gym and lift some weights and then uh, do some grocery shopping on the way home. Seems like something that uh, Amin would do on his day off. So we're going to go to the Pleasant View Health Center. Amin has arrived at the health center. And he's going to go straight inside and lift some weights. So let's start with that machine. So he's going to work out for a little bit. He is um, not that active, but he likes to stay in shape. And uh, this is sort of th therapeutic to him. Um, this is uh, a part of his life where he can just um, think about other things and uh, involve himself in something that is uh, physically straining. <laughs> and. Uh, he enjoys the way that he's, his body feels when he has worked out, so... So Amin is really pushing himself right now. Trying to maintain that um, muscle he has. Looks like Sophie is here, actually. I think that um, Amin is going to take the opportunity to greet her and uh, invite her over for dinner, actually. So he doesn't have to call and ask her. He uh, met her at the gym. <laughs> so that's nice. So they're just going to talk a little bit. And yeah, Sophie is uh, saying that, yeah, it would be very nice if you could uh, meet my fiancé. She seems to be very into the idea and um, 
they're talking a bit about the weather that it's 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 getting colder now even though it's uh, still sunny in autumn and um, the weather is getting a bit uh, chilly at evening so yeah so he has uh, greeted sophie and she is also uh, saying that um, it would be very nice if Amin could actually entertain a little bit <laughs> in the evening at her wedding. And uh, Amin is of course saying that, yes, of course, I want to do that. Um, I wouldn't dream of uh, not doing that for my beloved daughter. <laughs> so yeah, he's already thinking about uh, what, to, uh, what to play for. Sophie <laughs> during the wedding and hopefully he can actually play while um, Lauren and Sophie dance <laughs> so Amin is going to have a shower and then he is heading to the grocery store <laughs> looks like Ray Parker is in there and he was uh, shocked that Amin is showering, apparently, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, now he's showering too, so. Very good. Amin is done, so we will head to another lot, and it is going to be 290 Main Street. We're at the grocery store. And Amin is just going to stock up on um, the food that he's going to need for the dinner tonight. I might actually buy some fish now that I think about it. That might be fun. So let's see, what do we have? Um, big fish. Hmm. Are they both... No, they're different, I think. Um, let's buy some different ones, actually. Just so that he has something to choose from. I think that Amin would uh, like that. Have to make sure to cancel the interaction so he doesn't keep buying them. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay, and then of course just the normal groceries. Let's do it like that. So he's going to spend quite a bit of money, but that is of course necessary. Okay, we have uh, Mr. Gordon King right here. And Alexander Goth. Do you know Alexander? You do, yeah. You're actually a bit friendly with Gordon. That's concerning. <laughs> I think that um, Jessica invited uh, Gordon and some other people over and uh, I mean, met him that way. I think that's why he has a positive in, uh, relationship with him. So yeah, I think that I mean, is just going to talk a bit with Alex. He um, knew Alex uh, from the high school, of course. Alexander has always been a bit of a loner and uh, he... Um, Spent a lot of time alone in the library and things like that. And uh, Amin sort of took him a bit under his wing, I think, uh, because Amin's work is a bit solitary, being the only chef at the high school. So I think that uh, Amin uh, felt a bit sorry for Alexander. <laughs> so he's um, talking a bit about how things have gone for Alex and... Um, how his life has been. Alex has, of course, uh, finished university since being at the high school and has um, become employed in the science career. So I think that Amin is going to say that that is very well done, a good achievement, and he is very happy for Alexander. And then it was very nice to meet him as well. So let's just scan and see if we have anybody interesting here. Randy Lillard, who he does know. So he might actually just go in here and say hi. Looks like he doesn't know Bella or uh, Meadow. 
he might just say hi to Gordon as well, if Gordon is still here. So he's going to talk a little bit with Brandy for now. Let's just check if um, Amin is an agnostic. So he isn't very involved in the uh, religious part of um, Pleasant View, but he of course knows that Brandy is a very prominent person and um, that she works at the hospital creating medicine. So she is a very impressive person, of course, which is probably why um, Amin um, wanted to say hi. <laughs> That's a, an odd pairing, Gordon and Bella Goff <laughs> dancing together. Oh, looks like you have been out in the sun, Magnus. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Looks like Gordon and Amin talks a bit about the recent game that they might have watched on TV and sports. Gordon is, of course, uh, trying to act normal. <laughs> and they talk a bit about health as well. Very normal things. So they're actually friends. I think that's um, fine for now. Amin uh, needs to get back home and take care of himself a little bit um, and then prepare for the dinner this evening. Amin is arriving back home. And he is, uh, of course, going to bring the food to the fridge and also stock it up with the fish that he bought. Okay, good, they don't have any bills to pay, that's perfect. So, um, it's a little bit early for lunch, but I think that he's going to maybe actually go up to the roof and uh, nap a bit in the chair over there take advantage of his uh, day off and um, the fact that it is still pretty hot. <laughs> okay, we have a chance card for Jessica. As of late, pickings have been thin in the con artist racket. The Vice Squad has been breathing down Jessica's neck and the Consumer Affairs Committee has launched an aggressive television ad campaign warning would-be victims to the dangers of recent confidence schemes. Jessica has a few tricks left up her sleeve, though. A contact has offered her some office space that might work well as the pretext for a classic vacation timeshare scam. A surefire way to swindle the elderly out of their retirement funds. Or seeing as times are tough, Jessica could go with the old door-to-door -door insurance policy scheme. No, I think that she would go with the timeshare one. Jessica opens up shop and within an hour already has her first pair of suckers. She sells them some forged timeshare paperwork, some imaginary stock in their local shopping mall and even ends up throwing in a non-existent speedboat. When all is said and done, Jessica's conned them out of 8,000 simoleons. Job well done, she closes down the storefront, pockets the cash and earns one creativity point ready to scam another day. Nice. Okay, so this is a bit conflicting now, because she wants to get the promotion, but she also wants to quit her job. Which makes sense for her, I think, actually. So I'm going to lock in both of them, because she just got another creativity skill that she wanted. So yeah, she, she has uh, been a criminal her whole life, and now that things are going very well for her, she does want to get... Uh, successful, even though she knows she can't. So she has very conflicting feelings about her job <laughs> right now. Um, but I think that overall, logically, she does want to quit. So that has not changed. Okay, Amin is waking up from his nap and he's just sitting here taking in the gorgeous view of the neighborhood. <laughs> There we go. 
He wants to play some drums, which he can, but I think that he needs to have lunch first. So let's get some leftovers for Amin. Okay, we have this issue. Fun. <laughs> I think it has something to do with um, editing custom food or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, just serve some lunch then. Um, why not make some hamburgers? That seems like something that Amin would enjoy. Making them from scratch, of course, <laughs> with a lot of nice vegetables. <laughs> Okay, we have someone calling him. So he's going to answer first. Let's see who that is. Oh, it's Jason, his best friend. So Jason is um, one of the people that made Amin want to move to Pleasant View. They have been best friends for a very long time and they often um, band up together <laughs> at weddings and uh, play for the party guests so they are both very into music so they have a sort of um, not a band really but more of a um, common interest and <laughs> yeah something like that okay it looks like Amin has woohoo on his mind because uh, he talked to Jason about that as well just like he did at breakfast so <laughs> Maybe he had a funny story to tell. So Amin is going to have his lunch and then freshen up, freshen up a bit, I think, and then play a little bit of drums before he has to prepare for dinner. And Valerie got a, um, a note. What do you get when you combine papier-mâché vinegar and baking soda? A mess! But in this case, Valerie's volcanic mess takes home first place in the school science fair, earning her 250 simoleons in prize money. Nice. So Valerie's science project was a success. That's very nice. That must have been um, a project for Cassandra's class then <laughs> at the high school. <laughs> Smells yummy, I bet. You're very good at cooking, I mean. So put that away and he can clean up a bit so that things are tidy when uh, Lauren arrives. <laughs> yeah, so this kitchen is, of course, Amin's pride and joy. He really enjoys spending time in here and he has um, designed it himself so that things are exactly the way he wants them. <laughs> There we go. So let's just uh, have him. That is clogged. That needs to be fixed <laughs> before Lauren and uh, Sophie arrives. Actually, you can use it before you clean it. Okay, we can recycle that as well. Looks like we actually had quite a bit of things to prepare. So maybe he won't have time to play the drums. We will have to see. We also have the front garden to look after, but uh, I think that chances are a bit high that Valerie is going to agree to take care of that. So since she is arriving back from school right now, oh, she's actually arrived already. She's brushing her teeth. I think that she is going to go downstairs but Valerie isn't a very homely person in in the way that she isn't used to being at home and being comfortable she is a nature sim and she has always enjoyed being away from home and taking walks and um, spending a lot of time in the outdoors um, partly to get away from from the people in her life, but also because she really enjoys it. So I actually think that she is going to take a walk to the uh, Woodland Park and spend a little bit of time over there. And uh, perhaps she will meet a boy her age. 
that she can spend some time with if we're lucky. So we'll have to see. Valerie is arriving at the park. And she is making a beeline for the people over here. So we have Lilith here apparently. Enjoying some chess. And then we have um, Archie Landgrab. As well as Daphne Lothario. So I think that she's going to greet both of them. Looks like she doesn't have any chemistry at all with him. But uh, yeah, she can check him out and see what she thinks. That's interesting. She is um, attracted to him. But she doesn't have any balls. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, but he is um, already already involved with someone, and uh, looks like um, Daphne and Archie are engaged in um, a conversation. So I think that Valerie is going to feel a bit like she's uh, a third wheel. <laughs> uh, so after greeting them, I think that she's just going to go uh, into the park and do her own thing. One thing that uh, Valerie likes is to hunt bugs. She actually has a pretty extensive bug collection. So I think that she's going to want to see what specimen she can find here. She has a pin board over her bed. So <laughs> she enjoys uh, looking at that. I really like that everything in Pleasant View is just in viewing distance. Because we can see um, the street that she lives on. Uh, it's uh, a bit back there, of course. We have um, the Caliente household here. And then it's just up that way and to the left. <laughs> so it's very easy to imagine the path that she was walking to get to the park. I'm also going to keep an eye on if there are any new people arriving. Looks like Valerie is crawling into the bushes. <laughs> but so far she hasn't uh, had any luck. Looking at her enthusiasm, she has just reached level 5. So she has the collect more bugs. But uh, she doesn't have the collect even more bugs. <laughs> so um, it might be that she has found basically everything already and uh, she needs to level up her nature skill um, or enthusiasm uh, in order to find more of them. That might be why she's so unlucky. But yeah, she is getting very tired and uh, her hygiene is very bad. So I think that that is uh, enough for today. She has enjoyed some fresh air and um, has had some uh, time to herself away from the household and there is no other teenager here really that she can meet so I think that she's just going to head back home yeah so Valerie has arrived back home and she's going to need to take care of her needs a little bit so I'm gonna send her into the shower and then she's actually going to go to bed, not only take a nap. And hopefully she can get some sleep in before the guests arrive. But I think that um, perhaps 5 p.m. is a good time. <laughs> okay, good. Amin has um, finished unclogging the toilet, so <laughs> it is nice and fresh for the guests when they arrive. We have a chance card for Kian. It's a pretty normal day at school until a classmate challenges Kian to a th thumb wrestling match. Should Kian accept the challenge or is this just too childish? Oh wow. Uh, I think actually he's going to say it's too childish and be a bit mean to the other kid who wants to do the thumb wrestling match. <laughs> Being the better person always pays off. <laughs> Kian's teacher walks by just as he uh, just as he friendly, but determinately, declines the challenge. I'm guessing 
the friendly part is his uh, observation of it. <laughs> the teacher commends Kai Kian for handling the situation so well and lets Kian try out a new science project as a reward. Kian gains enthusiasm in fitness. Okay. <laughs> fitness, huh? Okay, sure. <laughs> I thought that it was going to be games that he lost in oh well, oh well. I guess that um, the teacher was Andrea. <laughs> I think that Meadow wouldn't have been very impressed. <laughs> oh well. Amin is having his shower. Okay, Amin is losing enthusiasm about fitness. That is totally fine. So he's recycling the newspaper. And then he's going to practice playing a bit. He wants to max out the creativity skill, so he's uh, level 9 right now. Very close. Okay, nice. Kian is doing extremely well in school. That's what we like to hear. And uh, Jessica got a promotion, actually. She is now a getaway driver. From 2-bit crook to 3-bit crook. <laughs> to succeed as a driver, you'll need some strong physical skills and the mechanics knowledge. But you want to get in on the main action, right? Work on your skills to show the boss how indispensable you are. So Jessica ended up earning a lot of money today. She got a bonus, her salary, and the extra, what was it, 8,000? <laughs> So yeah, she she's probably extremely happy about this. Um, she's getting closer to the 100,000 goal that she has. Did she get, uh, yeah. So she's earned 10,000, so it's a ways off. <laughs> oh, well, this is um, pretty complicated then. Is this a night job? It is a night job. How on earth is she going to explain that? Well, this might be a tough one. <laughs> I think she's going to need to have a conversation with um, Amin in the evening after the guests have left. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, Jessica needs to freshen up a bit. And it looks like Kian... Um, is very tired from school and very bored. So I'm going to send him to sleep a little bit as well. Okay, so I've been looking up a bit on the criminal career on the sims.fandom.com page. And I think that the only thing that makes sense storyline-wise for Jessica right now is that... She has impressed the uh, Mafia in downtown a lot and things have started to settle down with the cops and they have grown more confident that she can actually handle herself. She needs to stay in Pleasant View, but they really need her experience and her expertise. She really is uh, an amazing counterfeiter and smuggler and uh, they they can't bring her back into the smuggling part of things because she's so well known there and the things are a bit too dangerous but I actually think that they would put her back as a counterfeiter and the description for that is you're getting more sophisticated why still money when you and your gang can print your own. You're getting quite a reputation and people are seeking your advice. Better keep fit, you might need to do some overseas traveling soon. So that is right before the smuggling part that she was involved with before. So I think that makes a lot more sense and she's going to have her same hours that she did before. She's not going to dressing the burglar outfit for one thing and uh, to all appearances she is going to have the same job but only a 
getting a promotion in that business. So I'm actually going to give her level eight in the criminal career instead, because that makes sense to me. So she's not now going to be an, in a very, very tricky situation because she wants to quit, but she's getting more and more involved in things again. And um, the more involved she is, the more senior she is and the more people in the organization relies on her and tells her intel, the more dangerous she becomes as well. So if she wants to leave, things will get very nasty. <laughs> so I am going to take out the sim blender. And careers, set level eight. So she's now a counterfeiter. That makes a lot more sense to me. So let's go with that. But she's still going to keep the want to quit her job, of course. All right, so Jessica, I think that she's just going to sit down and read the newspaper. And uh, prepare herself for this evening's events. <laughs> She needs to um, be very aware of the news and what is happening around her in order to be able to work in the profession that she's working in. <laughs> yeah, I think that it is about time to invite over Sophie and Lauren. If I remember correctly, they arrived from work both at 15. So they should be home. Yes, they are, and invite household. Balin can stay home, <laughs> but Lauren needs to come. Great, they'll be right over. That's perfect. So let's um, have Amin just sit down here and wait with his wife for the guests to arrive. So Valerie is going to wake up and get dressed as well. And yeah, Kian as well. They have uh, regained some of the lost energy. So that's perfect. Okay, so the guests are arriving. So let's see if they are going to ring the doorbell. Mm, okay, looks like they aren't finding the front door. So Amin is going to come outside and greet them. <laughs> it's a very casual way to greet your daughter and he is going to yeah give Lauren an earthy hug looks like he's attracted to her so um, he's going to uh, just talk a little bit with her now that they are outside and um then he's going to invite her into the house. It <laughs> looks like he might have stepped on her toes a little bit. That's fine. Um, he's just going to start on dinner. And let's make it... I think stuffed golden trout sounds really nice. So <laughs> let's do that. Um... So Jessica is going to talk with Sophie and I'm going to have Kian watch some TV. I think that um, Valerie is going to want to greet Lauren and Sophie as well and get to know them better. Valerie is going to... Give an earthy hug to Lauren. <laughs> nice to meet you. They can talk a little bit. And then she's also going to... 
Um, greet Sophie. Looks like Lauren is a little bit on the fence. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't seem to get along with them very well. There we go. So Valerie has met her stepsister. So they're going to talk a bit and um, gonna have Jessica talk a bit with Lauren as well. Kian, are you watching the Weather Channel? <laughs> Why though? <laughs> Change to the kids tube, please. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. Well done, Amin. Okay, Jessica and Lauren got along quite well, which is a bit ironic, of course, because both um, Sophie and Lauren have been uh, involved quite a bit in the law enforcement career. <laughs> Lauren isn't a police officer anymore, but Sophie sure is. So that's also a factor to all of this. Um, call everyone to meal, please. Stop that, stop that. Yeah, and everyone is sitting down to eat, perfect. So, Amin is uh, telling them that he's going to play at the wedding. And he already has uh, some songs in mind. And Sophie is uh, asking for some particular songs that she likes. And she is telling... The family that she hopes that um, Lauren um, and the others are going to be good friends. And uh, Lauren, of course, is saying that this is very nice to meet everybody. And that she really, really appreciates Amin's uh, food. She compliments him on his cooking. And Amin is, of course, saying thank you. <laughs> He's very proud of his, um, his cooking. And he's moving on back to the... Um, music. So they're just uh, taking a moment to enjoy the good food and uh, Jessica is uh, also talking a bit about um, the creative side of things. She tells them that she works um, with, uh, with writing, creative work, and uh, that she is actually writing her own novels. And uh, they are moving on to um, to more creative subjects. Valerie is also talking a bit about shows that she has seen. And uh, she's saying that she's pretty new to things. She has not been in Pleasant View that long, really. And uh, they're saying that it is very nice to, to meet each other. Uh, looks like Amin lost his... Uh, fit body shape because he ate too much but that is totally fine and Jessica wants to clean up but I think that she can just keep sitting here and talk to the others so Kian has finished and I don't think that he has the patience to just sit here so he's going to clean up a bit <laughs> and um, yeah Valerie is definitely going to stay at the table so Jessica seems to talk a bit about uh, Pleasant View being a very good town and a good place to meet nice people and make friends and it looks like Amin is uh, starting on the subject of uh, the recent break-ins in the neighborhood and uh, Jessica is of course saying that it's absolutely terrible um, that um, people who are um, successful and just living their lives uh, in the neighborhood get break-ins. And uh, Sophie <laughs> says that, well, let's just leave work behind and talk about other things. <laughs> when she has left her job as a police officer, she doesn't want to talk about that and I think that's a very lucky thing for Jessica. She doesn't want to press the, press the issue. And looks like uh, Valerie is talking a bit about school instead. 
and Lauren is um, is very um, happy to learn more about that. And she, she says that she has heard that uh, Amin works as the chef at the high school. Oh, Kian is uh, apparently um, being a very nice son and cleans up a bit after everyone. Someone is calling Jessica. So she's going to answer. And Valerie is talking a bit more about school, engaging Lauren in conversation. Ah, and uh, Russ Bear is calling Jessica. And um, I don't think that this is a social call. I think that uh, he is uh, basically reporting to her, um, telling her um, things that she has demanded of him. <laughs> so she's uh, trying to talk to him and make it sound like it's just a casual conversation. But uh, <laughs> it really isn't. So she's going to quickly hang up. I think that she's going to have some coffee and uh, I think it's a good thing if also Amin can have some coffee. Um, okay, Kian wants to go to bed. Um, I think he can uh, play a bit with his teddy to get his fun up a little bit. I don't think that he has the energy to do his homework right now and his parents are of course busy. So I'm also going to have Valerie not use that bathroom apparently. She can use this one then. Uh, of course that is clogged. <laughs> but looks like the guests are using the one downstairs. So that's fine. So Amin has had a chance to talk a little bit to Lauren. And he has seen that uh, she seems to be very, um, very good to Sophie. So he's feeling a bit more calm about um, calm about things for the wedding tomorrow. Looks like they started to watch a movie apparently. Sophie doesn't seem very impressed with it. <laughs> okay, so I think that Jessica is going to try to make friends with Sophie and um, Amin's agenda is of course to get to know Lauren better. So he's going to focus on her instead um, but I think that he's going to just clean this up first and then he's going to talk a bit more to Lauren. Hopefully this conversation is going to go a bit better than the previous one. <laughs> So it looks like uh, Jessica and Sophie are getting along really well. So I'm just going to queue up a bit of the topics and um, we can talk about fitness, I think. Yeah, and this conversation is going a lot better with Lauren for Amin. He's uh, engaging her in conversation about his music. <laughs> He's very proud of that as well, just like his cooking. And Lauren is uh, talking about um, it being a shame that there aren't any nice evening ac activities for people to enjoy in Pleasant View. There's no one, nowhere to go to listen to music and watch movies and things like that. And uh, she's moving in a bit to the topic of um, what she's doing at the Land Grab Industries trying to uh, expand the nightlife in Pleasant View. Something that she's very uh, happy to do, of course, and she she's very interested to know what the people around her think, if they agree that that is missing in the neighborhood. And Amin, being the big city person that he is, of course, wants more nightlife and more um, things to do in the neighborhood and places to go to meet new people. So... <laughs> He's all for that, of course. I think that that is something that they can bond over. Oh, 
Jessica wants to help Kian with homework. Sure. Let's keep um, talking to Sophie a bit more. She can uh, gossip. Yeah. <laughs> Kennedy Cox apparently did something funny. <laughs> Seems about right. So it looks like Jessica is trying to... Um, appreciate Sophie for her job as a police officer. <laughs> She's um, probably trying to throw Sophie off to make it seem like she's very um, impressed with that line of work so that she doesn't start thinking the wrong things about her. <laughs> um, so he's made friends with Lauren. And it is getting a bit late. So I think that he is actually going to say goodbye to everyone. And both uh, Jessica and Amin are going to go to the bedroom. Because uh, they are very tired, both of them. I actually think that Valerie is going to wake up though and do her homework. And actually, Kian has had some time to sleep. I think that I'm going to try and see if Jessica can uh, teach him or help him with the homework. Um, let's do that. Okay. They are no longer best friends, I see. <clears throat> so, I mean should unclog this one too, use it, clean it, take another shower and relax. So let's see if we successfully can help Kian with the homework. No, he's just snuggling with his teddy. <laughs> Cute. Oh, okay, something was in the way apparently. Um, let's interrupt that and uh, Make a new attempt. Yeah, that's working. And Valerie is doing quite well too. I actually want to take a look also on um, her bug, bug collection and see what she has uh, collected so far. Things are going quite well in here. Nice. Yeah, so she helped him, but I do have a sort of homework mod. So I think the idea is that it is going to take a while for the kids to actually learn. Um, but in my experience, uh, I haven't been able to teach them at all. Um, that might be my fault. So <laughs> um, I might have to unlock this um, and just uh, leave that be now she might end up teaching him later but uh, for now let's do, do it like that and um, she's going to go downstairs and use the bathroom kian is going to go to bed uh, amin is finishing up in there and then jessica is going to relax as well okay so looks like she has 11 out of 30 bugs in her collection so she has a jack beetle, a mock ladybug beetle, trihorn greaves beetle, dapper pinstripe beetle, gentleman beetle, and also blue feather wing butterfly, empress butterfly, copper pot butterfly, madam butterfly, jelly butterfly, and a pygmalion butterfly, and no spiders. So. She will have to keep working on that. I think that she's going to um, just stay up a little bit and read. She uh, She's a very solitary person. Um, and that comes from her, um, her youth, really. So lying like this in her bed and just reading is something that she's used to and something that she enjoys. 
So she's going to stay up late and um, read a bit, I think. So Jessica is on the way to the bed and I think Amin is as well. She's exhausted though. So they might not get to cuddle very much. No, she's too tired. They're just going to go to bed and finish up their day together. So that is it for the uh, Miguel family. They're going to uh, cuddle in sleep and uh, finish up with their day. So that was it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.